He would do everything in sets of three. Some say he had OCD. He probably did. And others say he was very superstitious. Sounds about right. However, the truth is a lot deeper. No, it's not. Hello, you punks. This is Integza. And as you might have noticed by the clip you just saw and the title, this video will be a little bit different from what I usually do. Today, we shall do some debunkery. As you know, I'm quite interested in one of Tesla's inventions. If you don't, it's because you're not subscribed to the channel. But that's a problem with the easy fix. Just use the arrow on your screen to stab the button right down there. And because I'm trying to build a high efficiency Tesla turbine using my girls Sabrina and Claudette, I tend to watch a lot of videos on the YouTube. Some videos about Tesla are really cool and bring new light to his inventions, while others... <coughs> so I found this video on YouTube with over 3 million views that, according to the title, reveals the truth about the mysterious, the mysterious code, code created, created by, by Tesla. Tesla. That involved the numbers 3, 6 and 9. Almost immediately, my bullshit sense was activated. But because I normally keep an open mind, I gave it a shot. So let's do just that. Let's, let's take a look. The mind-blowing secret behind the numbers 3, 6 and 9 finally revealed. Is it a mind-blowing secret? Because by your tone of voice, it looks like you're about to give a lecture on how to install Windows 98. You just said you're about to reveal the truth about the numbers 3, 6 and 9. Show some excitement. You know this guy doesn't get picked to pitch ideas. Hey Gary, I need you to pitch an idea about the numbers 3, 6 and 9. Can you do it? Yeah, sure, sure thing boss. Hello, my name is Gary Light and I'm going to pitch to you the numbers 3, 6 and 9. The mind-blowing secret behind the numbers 3, 6 and 9 finally revealed. <laughs> Nikola Tesla did countless mysterious experiments, but he was a whole other mystery on his own. Did he just say Nikola? I, I don't know the right pronunciation, but I, I never heard someone say it like that. Sorry, pal, but you just started your video looking like a... 1986 World Book Encyclopedia. Also, why does the word engineer appears in Spanish out of nowhere? Ingeniero. 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 Let's just keep watching. Almost all genius minds have a certain obsession. Nikola Tesla had a pretty big one. Tesla had some interesting habits that he would do. For example, he would walk around the block repeatedly three times before entering a building. He would clean his plates with 18 napkins. He lived in hotel rooms only with a number divisible by three. He would make calculations about things in his immediate environment to make sure the result is divisible by 3. He would do everything in sets of 3. Some say he had OCD. He probably did! And others say he was very superstitious. Sounds about right! However, the truth is a lot deeper. No, it's not! If you knew the magnificence of 3, 6, and 9, you would have the keys to the universe. Nikola Tesla Stop saying Nikola! Okay, I gotta stop you right there. Sorry for stopping the video every 5 seconds, but this video is just too good. So, the thing about this quote is, it has no source. No book, no interview, no article. There's no actual record of Tesla saying this. And taking into account the number of fake Tesla quotes that float around the internet, I wouldn't be surprised if this was another one. Also, if Tesla really thought that the numbers 3, 6 and 9 were the key to the universe, don't you think he would have done more about it than just make a vague and mysterious quote? His obsession was not simply with numbers, but especially these numbers, 3, 6 and 9. Tesla claimed that these numbers were extremely important, and nobody listened. But why these numbers? What did Nikola Tesla try to make the world understand? First, we must understand that we did not create math, we discovered it. You don't know that. The question of math being discovered and intrinsic to the universe, or invented by men and women, come down feminists, is a very old one and dates back to the time of the Greeks. Plato thought that math was a universal language, but a lot of people disagree 
And I don't think this question will be cleared by Gary, the monotone guy. It's the universal language in law. No matter where you are in the universe, one plus two will always equal to three. Oh, really? Please, do tell me about your travels around the universe. Everything in the universe obeys this law. There are patterns that naturally occur in the universe. Patterns that we've discovered in life. Galaxies, star formations, evolution, and almost all natural systems. Some of these patterns are the golden ratio and sacred geometry. One really important system that nature seems to obey is the power of two binary system, in which the patterns start from one and continues doubling the numbers. Cells and embryos develop following this sacred pattern. Of course they do. They create a copy of their genetic information and then they split. It's the more energetically efficient way of creating new cells. And if you believe in Darwin's theory of evolution, it kinda sounds obvious. Also, not all cells follow this pattern in their mitosis. For example, cancer cells divide into three or more cells. So, yep. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, etc. Some call these patterns the blueprint of God. Math by this analogy would be God's thumbprint, leaving all religion aside. In Vortex Math, the science of Taurus anatomy. What? Wait a minute. You just said that some say it's God's blueprint. You can't just say leaving all religion aside right afterwards. Also, what the hell did you just say? In Vortex Math, the science of Taurus anatomy. I'm googling that. It doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. Must be legit. Vortex-based math is a pseudo-mathematical, vaguely theological leaving all religion aside pile of nonsense for which some guy named Marco Rodin Rodin? It's to blame. On his website he claims a secret to unlocking the universe or some such. <laughs> this is priceless. I swear I didn't write this. It's just the first link you get when you search for Vortex Math on Google. There is a pattern that repeats itself. One, two, four, eight, seven, and five, and so on. As you can see, three, six, and nine are not in this pattern. Scientist Marco Rodin believes these numbers represent a vector from the third and fourth dimension. Look, I'm not a mathematician or anything, but I think that for a four-dimensional vector, you need four coordinates. That means four numbers, buddy. Three, six, and nine ain't gonna do it. Which he calls a flux field. This field is supposed to be a higher dimensional energy that influences the energy circuit of the other six points. Randy Powell, a student of Marco Rodin, says that this is the secret key to free energy, something we all know Tesla mastered. Do we? We all know he mastered free energy. Really? What do you mean by free energy? Because if you mean creating energy, it's impossible. We can only spend energy. Second law of thermodynamics. Bitch. Let me explain. Let's start from 1. Doubled it is 2. 2 doubled it is 4. 4 doubled is 8. 8 doubled is 16, which means 1 plus 6, that equals to 7. 16 doubled is 32, resulting in 3 plus 2 equals 5. You can do 7 doubled, if you want, to which you would get 14, resulting in 5. 32 doubled is 64, resulting in total of 1. So if we continue, we will keep following the same pattern. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, etc. Over and over. As you can see, there is no mention of 3, 6, and 9. It's like they are beyond this pattern. Free from it. However, there is something strange once you start doubling them. 3 doubled is 6. 6 doubled is 12, which would result in 3. Add 1 and 2 and you get 3. In this pattern, there is no mention of 9. It's like 9 is beyond, completely free from both patterns.
but if you start doubling 9, it will always result in 9. Okay, let's get serious here. So, I understand that if you are caught by surprise by this video, you might think... Gary has a point. Where are these weird patterns? How come the sum of the digits of multiples of 9 are always 9? This must be a proof. A proof of the power of 9. Vortex math! I'm a believer! First of all, numbers don't have power. They're just symbols we define to represent quantities. They are poorly drawn shapes that... represent the amounts of things. That's it. If someone from the number file channel is watching this video... Uh... I'm just making a point. I love numbers. And I like your channel. Yep. Now, the reason why the sum of digits of multiples of 9 is always 9 is actually stupidly simple. It all comes down to the fact that we use the decimal system. And we use the decimal system not by divine intervention, but because we chose to. And probably is because we have 10 fingers in our hands. Okay, most of this is because of the way we add up numbers. Follow me on this. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Basic math. We add up two digits and we get another digit, right? But we only have 10 digits. Which means we need to generate more numbers with this limited amount of digits. And this is how we do it. If we add a 6 to a 7, the result is bigger than the biggest digit, 9. So what we do is add one unit to the left and put the remainder on the right, like this. Nothing new here. The reason why the sum of digits of multiples of 9 is always 9 is because when you add a 9 to a number, you will always add a unit to the left and take a unit from the right. So in the end, you keep the same amount of units. The same applies to all the other patterns he shows in this video. It's a result of the decimal system and how we add up numbers. If you want a deeper explanation than this, I'll put a link in the description to a detailed explanation that really covers the subject in a very complete way. My favorite part of the video is this one. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena. It'll make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Nikola Tesla. He just stops talking for the remaining three minutes and a half of the video. He just got tired or maybe the volume kicked in. He really wanted to get over the 10 minute limit, but he couldn't be bothered to record more audio. So, it just stopped. Well, if he doesn't narrate, I guess that's my job now. So, here he is showing how if you add up the digits on angles, that result of the division of 360 degrees, you also always get 9. What is to be expected, because 360 is a multiple of 9. And the only reason we use 360 degrees to define a full rotation is because ancient Sumerians thought that the Earth took 360 days to complete a full rotation around the Sun. Idiots. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, you probably think I'm an asshole. But I'm not. I'm a nice guy. Just ask my subs. The only reason I'm making this video is because I got disturbed by the amount of people that watched this video and completely agreed with it. Just watch the video and look at the like-dislike ratio and the top comments. I don't even think that is Gary's fault, because he's just a YouTuber that is trying to make a penny spreading his knowledge. The people to blame are scumbags like Marco Rodin that create these scams to convince gullible people into giving them money. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this format. I really enjoyed making this video and getting all of this out of my chest. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tell me on the comment section below. Also, if you find stupid videos that are spreading stupidity across our beloved YouTube, don't forget to send them my way. Well, until the next time, bye bye Hello you punks, this is Integza and to the ta 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 But that has an easy fix, you just need to click the button right up down there And if you don't, it's because you're not subscribed to the channel But that is a problem Also, 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 if Tesla think 
Oh, la, 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 la. Gary. Uh. Oh, shit. Nein. No. Haru. In Texas. Oh.